What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another movie review for you. Yesterday, or I should say last night, I actually was watching The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It with a few friends on HBO Max, of course, because it is available in theaters now, released June 4th, which was like yesterday. And like I said, it's you can stream it on HBO Max, I believe, up until July 4th. That's how most movies that are released on there are. It's available for like a month, and then it's just only in theaters until it hits Blu-ray or DVD. Which I don't know the release date for that yet, but it usually, because of um, how they've been doing movie releases now, it's usually at least a month or two, two and a half months, maybe three tops after um, the movie releases on theater or digital and ends up on Blu-ray and physical release, two to three months after the fact. But this is going to be a, re a review for The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Basically, it starts off with the family trying to do an exorcism on their younger son. I think his name was David or Dan. I can't remember exactly. I forget the name of the family as well. But like I said, they're just trying to do an exorcism on their younger son, as you probably saw in the trailers, the boy with the glasses. And of course, the way it turns out is a lot different than I expected. But during the exorcism, his brother Arnon or Arin or something, I forget how to pronounce his name, but Arnon, I believe it is, just stepped up, grabbed the son, his brother, I should say, that was possessed or cursed, whichever it might have been, and was telling the demonic spirit that was in his body, take me instead. You know, like, take me. Leave my brother alone. Take me. So, of course, the, the spirit ends up going into the brother, his older brother. I don't know exactly how... I'm going to fully explain why I don't understand exactly if it's about possession or not. But um, basically, that's what happens. It goes and it takes over the brother instead and haunts the brother throughout the movie. And of course, you got Lorraine and Warren. Um, Ed, not, the Warren, the Warrens is what I was trying to say. But Lorraine and Ed Warren, the couple that are, I forget the term that's used for it, but they go around and they help the family with the cases trying to figure out what to do and take care of the spirits and whatnot or the demons so they come and take care of the case and they're trying to figure out like what happened so the spirit actually gave ed a heart attack so he ended up in the hospital and no like ed was the only one that saw the demon go into the older brother so everyone else thought it was done they thought the demon just left the younger son alone but nope Ed had a stent put into his heart. So he was out for, I think, a few days. So he wasn't able to speak. And as soon as he came back to his conscious consciousness, or whatever you want to call it, when he comes back to his own mind where he can actually function properly, he tells Lorraine, it's got Arnon. So, okay, Lorraine's like, oh, shoot. She calls um, Arnon's girlfriend to tell him, like, tell her something's bad is about to happen. You know, things play out. Arnon ends up killing somebody. And from what you see in the trailers, he's walking up the road. A police pull over. He's like, I think I killed somebody. So it goes from there. And they're trying to figure out, like, is this a possession or a curse? Because they do when, of course, Arnon got arrested. So in prison, they were trying to have him speak words from the Bible. And he was able to, he was able to do all that stuff without any reaction. So they're like, he's not possessed. But yet... Things were taking over him and making him do certain things and telling him to do certain things as well. So the movie plays out basically. They're trying to research and find out how what is happening. It turns out that it was a curse. So this went the sat the satanic cult way, like kind of like Paranormal Activity Four. I think it was Part Four of Paranormal Activity. You find out it's a cult. I mean, that was the only downfall for this movie for me is I don't like how it went down the cult route. So basically. It turns out that there was this guy that you'll see through the movie. I don't want to give away the whole movie. I already gave away enough. So I don't want to spoil too much. And um, basically there's a dude in the movie whose daughter is going around and planting totems to curse people. And that's what's been going on. So you ha there was three different things you had to do to complete the curse. I think it was um, homicide, suicide... And, um, no, wait, 
I can't remember exactly what it was, but there's three different things to complete the curse. I know homicide was one and suicide was one. I can't remember the third. And, of course, the lady that was doing these curses was trying to complete that. Because she basically was going to have to give the devil her soul if she did not complete this curse. So it plays out from there. They find out it's a curse. And Lorraine's doing her thing. You know, she can touch stuff and connect with whatever's going on. It just goes on from there. And like I said, I don't want to give away too much. But, of course, they find out exactly what they got to take care of. It goes on from there. There's plenty of jump scares. Not as much as the first two. Or the Annabelle spin-offs and whatnot. There's some jump scares, but not as much. It's a good movie. I enjoyed it. But I didn't like how it went down the cult route. I wish it stuck with just a complete supernatural possession type thing. Because Conjuring 1 was amazing. That creeped me out as F. A-F, guys. It legit creeped me out. Part 2 was good as well. That was creepy. But not as creepy as the first. The Annabelle movies were really creepy. The Nun was good. But I believe Conjuring 3... Was of course way better than a spin-off series. I wouldn't go far as saying it was better than Annabelle. Because I didn't like how it went down the cult route. That was the only downfall me for me. But overall, it's what you would expect from a Conjuring movie. You got your jump scares. You got your creepy scenes. You got the great cast. Warren and Lorraine are amazing. And the families they usually try to help. They end up having a great cast for that as well. So... Like I said, the movie is really enjoyable. If you like the Conjuring series, definitely go check it out. I just didn't enjoy the fact how it went down a cult route. I know I probably gave away some spoilers before you go and see the movie if you have not, but I apologize, guys. I just wanted to give the best review I could without sounding like an idiot, because you can only review a, mu a movie a certain way without spoiling things. It's you got to explain what's the going on in the movie and some of the things that are playing out. So it's hard to review a movie and not spoil it. So I'm trying not to spoil everything in the movie if you do plan on seeing it. So again, like I said, I just did not enjoy the cult situation. I just wish it stuck with the whole supernatural possession situation. So I still question myself. Was he possessed? Was he cursed? Like, I know it was a curse. But how does something take over your body and make you do things if it's not, like, possessing you? So it's confusing to me. That's the one thing I really didn't understand the whole movie. But it's what you would expect from a Conjuring movie. It was really good. Definitely the first one. The first Conjuring sticks out the most. It's the best. Conjuring 2 is the second best. I would say the Annabelle spinoff series were probably the best after Conjuring 2. And then Conjuring 3. And then of course the Nun to me is last. Like, it was good. I like I like the Nun, but it's the least. But yeah, guys, if like I said, I give Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, a f I want to say 4 out of 5. I'm not even going to go for a 4.5. They lose that point five because of the cult the cult way they went. I understand they wanted to do something different and they claim it was the darkest of the series, but a cult, like, really? Just stick with the spirits. Just don't have any humans involved, like, controlling the spirits or whatnot, you know? Um, like, I get this is a movie based on true events and true stories and the cases that the Warrens in real life dealt with, but I still feel like if there was more cases, they possibly could have chose one that was was um, involving more of just the regular ghost spirit type cases that they dealt with on the first and second one because those were more creepy. Those were a lot more scary than this one was. Just for the fact that it was basically a curse slash possession, I guess you can call it. Um, it involved, still involved in like a human being just dealing with a curse and cursing these people with the totems. It just kind of lost the scare factor in a way compared to what the first two had because it was just mainly cases focused on actual spirits and ghosts like full-on ghosts and spirits nothing involving cults or satanic cults or anything like that so that's the reason why i just kind of felt like it was a flaw for me but i understand it was a case that was supposedly happened in real life but i'm sure there was some changes and exaggerations i, I mean what do i know i'm just a movie viewer and reviewer so but i mean that's the best i can give right now just for the fact that that was the only flaw in the movie for me. It lost its scare factor and it involved a cult satanic situation. But it was based on a true story. What can I do, you know? So yeah, that's going to do it for this movie review, guys. I recommend to go see it if you enjoy the Conjuring series. You won't be disappointed. You might be disappointed in some things like I pointed out. Other than that, you won't be fully disappointed. You'll still enjoy it. That's what I'm trying to say. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if not... I apologize. I do my best with these reviews, but it's a little difficult when I'm trying not to spoil the movie and I end up spoiling some, then I try not to spoil the rest. But guys, thanks for watching. If you are subscribed already, I appreciate it very much. And if you are not subscribed, please do.
and I will see you guys later in the next one. Take care.